What's going on, YouTube? You're doing this back up another video for you guys today. So, y'all, Netflix has concocted some more stuff for us to consume in our head. I don't know about this though, because I don't know who asked to build a new day, modern age, post social media, post internet life. Uh, version of good times now if you don't recognize good times um good times was a show back in the 70s i believe 70s mid to late 70s maybe early 80s but i would definitely say mid to late 70s if i'm not wrong all i know is i watched it i enjoyed it um it's an old school show um They've had some very familiar stars on there. Janet Jackson, Kim Fields, um, and so on and so on. John Amos as the role, so on and so forth. Um, Janet, J was it Jeanette or Janae Dubois? Um, A.K.A. Willona. So if you watch the show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I enjoyed the show. Yes, they had their stereotypes with religion and the black community and how they portrayed Black families with certain things, black men, whatever, black women too, whatever you want to say. It was still a good show to me. It was, the, you know, because it gave that that classic family vibe, all that, all that, right? So they decided to remake it in, in an animated form at that. So I don't know about this, y'all, because I mean, let's just be real. And this is for my, you know, old school TV show fans out there. Um... I, I'm, I would prefer the, the original. You know, I'm just saying. But uh, I'm going to just watch the trailer and see what it's giving. It's going to be obviously a whole other thing, I'm sure. But we're going to see what's going on. So this is Good Times, okay? Official trailer on Netflix. This came out yesterday. So I'm only a day late. So let's go ahead and check it on out, shall we? In about a three, two, one. I have important news. Let me guess. Why is it so the low? Call and they want to cut you a disability check for your face. Hold up. You can get paid for that? This is from a fool who stares at his orange juice every morning. It says concentrate on the box. <laughs> who the dummy now? Shit. Me for not wearing a condom. Oh. Oh, they getting rocky with this shit. It all started with my grandfather, James <laughs> Damn. Evans. My job as the man of this house is to take That's care of That's J.B. Smooth, I know it. No I just want to let you know, I'm going to take good care of Gray. That's me. <laughs> Bitch, that is a little meat. Junior's repeating the tenth grade for the third time. Wanda Sykes. Is there anything you can suggest to help him get to the drive through Can you do OnlyFans? Oh. Take off your shoes. Let me see what kind of feet you're working with. What the fuck? Dear Black Heavenly Father. College Redeemer. Uh, if you could just help us. Son, it's for you. New phone. Who this? At least they ain't got that. Who is this little nigga on the street? Oh man, my mouth ready for some milk right now. Dalvin, why are you so breast obsessed? It's childish. The baby, bruh. I'm a baby. I can't get no more childish than that. In a nocturnal state of mind. Your neighborhood is a real shithole. It's the system. They put the Message. guns and drugs on the streets. Message. This is getting dangerous. I won't just sit back and let you put yourself in harm's way. I love you too damn much. Everything, everything back. Revolution will not be televised. Period. Come on, Rosa Paws. Can't you just enjoy this? <laughs> I gotta go back and see who's gonna be in there. Oh, John and Ted. We're just as good as the Evans of old. Isn't that just dynamite? But the truth is, we're the Evans of new. Bitch, you look like money. Oh. What about the struggle? We're black. It'll be here tomorrow. Everything black, black bird, black moon, black sky, black light, black, everything black. Wait a minute. The baby? Little baby? And baby baby? Too many babies around this crib. Oh! April 12th. Y'all ain't even gonna lie, some of this shit was ignorant as a motherfucker, but I cracked up at it. I was tickled. I ain't gonna cap. But ain't no way, I know I heard Lil Meech, JB Smooth, Wanda Sykes, um, I saw for, for a split second, Marseille Martin. 
But no, they definitely laid off a message in this motherfucker. Uh, so we got JB Smooth, Yvette Nicole Brown. I know her. J. Oh shit, Jay Farrell, Sling J. Lamar from GTA. I thought I heard that. Marseille Martin and Wanda Sykes. Bitch, I know I heard Lil Meech though. I know I heard Lil Meech. But no, they, they definitely had some messages though, like with them putting black people, having black people in the projects, struggling, putting weapons and drugs in their communities so they can fuck each other up. Let's be real, if y'all remember not too long ago in the 80s, that's what happened with But like I said, I did laugh. I did laugh. I did laugh. The comments though, they are definitely not for it. I don't mean I don't blame y'all, don't get me wrong. But um, this is definitely some ghetto ass shit. But um, Steph Curry, he in here too? Who the hell he playing? Steph Curry. Damn. Somebody says a black person who loves animation and wants to see new ideas come to life. This burns my eyes. Stereotypes can fun, can be funny if written well, but this takes black Twitter and make... Wait, what? But this take... Or... This take black Twitter and make... Car you need to learn how to put your words together. Ooh, I hate that shit. Ooh, man. These comments ain't looking too supportive of it. Now somebody saying I can't wait to watch this get canceled after one season. Oh, Steph Curry is the producer of this? I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Like, sir, did you even grow up in the projects? I'm sorry to say that, but I mean, did you really even grow up in the projects? That's, but I will say though, that still is a message though when they show the whole project scene and the weapons, the drugs, and the police, and nigga, pff, fellow colored folks, pow, pow pow at each other, you know. Because that shit is still relevant today. Maybe new types of drugs and um, other shit involved, other type of pow pow pows involved as well for stupid reasons, but, you know. But, um, I'm definitely sticking with the original Good Times because, you know, Good Times, it wasn't like this type of shit, you know. Cause it was definitely giving off a little ghetto it. But, you know, like I said, OG Good Times. Oh, oh, not somebody saying JB Smooth never misses an opportunity. If you know, you know. Yeah, I have no other words to say about this. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't even realize Steph Curry was the producer of this. It doesn't make any sense at all, anyway. Like, who in the fuck told him to, to do this? Like, you needed the money that bad. You ain't play. Like, you not playing ball no more or something? I'm very confused. Like, I don't understand. Seth MacFarlane, that name sounds familiar. Let me look this motherfucker up. And if he ain't black, oh, I know something. Seth MacFarlane, no wonder, family guy. Family guy, Ted, and let's not act like family guy didn't have their race um, moment. Black folks, Asian, all that. I'm not surprised because this says from showrunner Ron Renata Shep Shepard 
Executive producers Stephen Curry, Norman Lear, and Seth MacFarlane. I am not surprised. I am not surprised. That explains it. It's a bit disappointing from Steph Curry because it's just like, why? And it's just like, what, he, he ran out of NBA money or something? And once again, like, did you, Negro, did you even grow up in the project for you to be a part of this foolishness? Hmm? And Seth McFarlane, McFarlane, how do you say his last name? It's not surprising. He was literally, he's literally been a part of Family Guy, American Dad, maybe even the Cleveland Brown show, where you have white men voicing black male characters. Like I say, Family Guy, let's not act like they didn't have their moments and their stereotypes of certain looking people. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yikes. Yikes. Even Yeah, that'll be all uh, for this video. That'll be all. But if you enjoyed it, my reaction, my take on it, please hit the like button. Comment below how you feel about this new age good times. Why they need to stop making these stupid ass reboots. Like I said, I laughed. I laughed. And I would probably, I ain't even gonna cap, I would probably watch this just to see how stupid it is. Cause you can't take this serious, obviously. Um, and how ignorant it is. But um, yeah, other than that, that's, that, that's it. I wouldn't take this as a serious thing. Um, but y'all let me know how you feel about it. Especially if you watched the original Good Time show. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, okay? Anything I can write to for y'all, let me know in the comments as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow me on my Instagram. Um, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Good times, anytime you need a payment, anytime you need a friend. I'll stick with that one all day, every day. Stay in the rain, and I'm out.